Hello and welcome to another tutorial on Omnisphere. Um, hack on LM, I uh, left a comment on my previous videos asking if I do a short tutorial about creative ways to use FX and modulation. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and I would like to point out and apologise in advance that one of my previous videos, unfortunately the screen capture software didn't uh, show the drop down on, on the sphere, the uh, drop down menus. So I'll look at fixing that. Uh, it seems to be a problem with the uh, recording software that I use. But I've uh, solved the problem, uh, found a workaround, so hopefully this video will be nice and clear for you. So we'll start by making a very simple patch. Uh, we'll just stick with the source square. And we're not going to do anything crazy. Um, I'll go for trend because I want to do a pad. Triangles are great for doing pad sounds, so we're... Yeah, there we go. Right, um, you've got LFOs that you can use to modulate the sound, and they are sine triangle square, you can see the list there. But these are fixed shapes, you can't change them, or you only change them in limited ways. But to get around that, you can use mod envelopes. So if you think of mod envelopes as um, programmable LFOs, is probably the best relationship. They're not quite, but it's to sort of get, get it in your mind how to use these creatively is probably one way of using it. So what we'll do is we'll add a few blobs on here. And I'm just doing that by double clicking. Uh, just to give you an idea of what you can do with the. Another one there. Sometimes they do not want to oblige. There we go. That'll be enough. What we're going to do, we're going to modulate this amp so it does that. And by doing to do that, you just right click on there, modulate. All mod sources should come up. And um, mod envelope one, unfortunately, that's got still gone slightly off the screen there, but. Um, on all mod sources, uh, you can choose. Come back out there. If I just right click on this bit up here, if you do uh, uh -oh. modulate all mod sources, and it's mod envelope one there. So if you do that to the amp, and you get. Oh, nothing's happening. That's because you need to press invert and bring the source all the way up and then you get then you get that nice and uh, click with this so get rid of the click just change it to smooth but then it makes it too smooth and you want a bit of a click so if we make it halfway and all that is doing is cycling through that pattern so if we load a bog standard um, Omnisphere pattern, so we'll take Tarns 1. I can never work out whether that was done intentionally or somebody just misspelt it instead of saying Trans 1, they need to put Tarns, but who knows. <laughs> So there we go, it's on off, on off, on off, on off, on off. Okay. So what we're going to do now is just change that to uh, source square fat. And, and what I want to do now is leave that on, add a bit of delay, and we're going to go for some flame distortion. Now that flame distortion's on all the time can be a bit overpowering so what we'll do if we modulate that with the same envelope mod envelope one it moves it moves with the beat So 
So you can do that. And if you unmodulate the amp for a moment, uh, I want to bring the ARP on. You can switch the ARP on by clicking the light underneath. I'm just hitting the big button there. And I'm just going to load up a pre built sequence. And we get. I'm just going to slow that down a bit. I'm going to play with this. that with an LFO. Now, got a bit of flame distortion on there. I'm going to add some reverb. I'm not in too mad. And I want to add another delay as well. I'm going to go triple three delay and modulate that with the same mod envelope. And what I'm going to do there is turn that down mod source up and you get. So you turn. You what that's basically doing is doing this with the uh, uh, BPM delay, how much you get in the mix. So if you go to the mod envelope, you can track it through. Just to alter the thing slightly, just do um, infrared groove. I haven't got a clue what that looks like. That looks interesting and busy. So if we unmodulate this, and modulate that again with mod or mod sources, mod envelope 2. Stick another. I said I was going to play with this, but I can't resist, so we're going to go deep, uh, solid jump. Modulate the length. See pulsating. So I'll turn them on full so you can, you can see them pulsating with the length there. And I'm going to make the source. This is experimentation time. We'll change the uh, mod sources. Now that's gone a bit crazy, so we'll just go to his mod envelope three, and we're just gonna uh, drop down some accented groove. Plays with the speed now. So you can go a bit crazy with doing that if you want something slightly out. Um, probably work better.
slightly more predictable on the swing. And then you've got an evolving sequence. You've got your distortion. That's just... If you ever get lost, what you've modulated. If you just go to modulation and click on the little um, plus sign there, you can see we've got an LFO one playing with the resonance. You've got a mod envelope one playing with the flame distortion mix. And you can see him move with the white dots moving as it when it comes on and off. And then you've got mod envelope two playing with the BPM delay mix. Mod envelope two playing with the MR length and mod envelope three three playing with the swing. And you see that grayed out one there. That means it belongs to another layer. So we've only got two layers of playing. It's going to belong to B. And there we go, LF2 resonance. So you know that belongs to LF2 layer 2 resonance. LF01 and resonance is suddenly greyed out because that belongs to layer 1. So I uh, hope this little tutorial has been helpful um, and uh, allows you to experiment a bit more. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, uh, visit my website www.biodiode.com and you would, if you would like to support my work uh, and help me provide more tutorial videos, um, uh, please, please visit my Patreon page, uh, the link is in the comments, in the uh, description below and I'll catch you later.